Today we're going to talk about something that's a little sensitive, and that is the decision whether or not to hire a couple for your film set. Now, this can be in reference to any type of combination when it comes to crew and cast. It could be a cast member and a crew member, could be two actors, could be two crew people. It could be a couple that works together in the same department, which you'll often see in things like wardrobe or special effects or makeup. Regardless, there's always a chance that you're going to end up with some drama whenever you have a couple on set. Now, don't get me wrong, I know plenty of couples who've been together forever and are just power couples when it comes to their work on productions. And if you're really lucky, this is what you're going to end up with. These are people who work great together, they can practically read each other's thoughts, they'll go above and beyond to make sure that their work is as good as it can be, and they're a pleasure to work with. But you also have those couples who think that they can work together, and they don't. They'll argue about things, usually related to their combined job, but sometimes they'll bring problems from home to the workplace. It's not uncommon for this type of couple to get nasty with each other without uh, regards to where they might actually be, like on your set, holding up things. People tend to get uncomfortable when they're around fighting couples, so this is a great way to really bring down morale on your set altogether. One way you can find out what type of a couple you're looking at when one applies is by checking the references. If they have a resume, have references, and they both work together on other sets, contact those directors or producers. Find out how they worked, if they were, you know, if they were on top of things and great to work with, or if they were bickering and fighting all the time. Generally, if it's the latter, you'll hear about it. But some people get the idea that the best route to take to avoid the problem altogether is just to not hire couples or people who are dating. That's okay but it's not going to solve all your problems. Some people even get cute and they'll even have a contract for all of their cast and crew to require that there are no on-set romances. This is the way that they figured that they can catch the singles. And while it looks great on paper, in practice it's really about worthless. See, what you're battling is simple human nature. You've got people who are working together closely, sometimes for extended periods of time, and if two people are attracted to each other, no little piece of paper that says that they're not allowed to be is going to stop that. Eventually they're going to figure out that that piece of paper is worth nothing, especially if they are in key crew or cast roles. Their idea is, what are you going to do? Fire them because they're dating when one's the lead actor and the other one's the director of photography? Now, minor cast and crew members might take the contract a little bit more seriously, and all they'll do is try to hide it. They'll sneak off to lunches together, or they'll go off, af go off once you've wrapped up for the day. A lot of them might be sneaky about it, but things do tend to get out. You notice these changes in people, you notice the chemistry between people, and you realize when they're acting and when they're not. A lot of the times when two people hook up on a set, it is the worst kept secret. You're going to find out about it. And then you're going to have to make some tough decisions, especially if you'd put down a rule already that nobody's allowed to date. Now, one solution that I have seen somebody do is break it up. They'll keep the more important member and fire the other one. In my example here, it's keeping a lead actress while firing a boom operator. They figure that crew is replaceable even at the last minute, but your cast, you don't want to have to start over from scratch, so they'll keep the actor and fire the crew person. Or if it happens to be an important crew person and a minor cast member, they might write that cast member right out and fire the cast member. Regardless, it's going to cause problems. First of all, you've got a disgruntled firee who has lost money and is you know, begrudging your stupid rule about dating. And then you have a very pissed off other party who is on your set and angry as hell at you. This is not going to make for a great environment while you're trying to film. Another solution is to fire them both. And depending on who they are, that might mean starting your production all over again. If you have the funds and ability and the time to do it, more power to you. 
but for most people that's not really a great option. So what's the solution? Well, if anybody out there has figured this one out, please let me know because in all my years of working in the industry, I've never seen a great solution to the dating game or the couples game in production. You never know what's going to happen. You could have a couple who has worked together in the past flawlessly who suddenly has a problem while they're on your set. Or you might have a very short romance happen on your set that goes through its entire that goes through all the stages while you're in production everything from courting to divorce it's very tricky but you are dealing with human nature so consider that you're probably going to end up being a referee once in a while if a onset romance seems to be distracting somebody from their work you're going to have to pull them aside talk to them about it let them know that it's affecting their performances, let them talk it out, have them talk with you. Maybe what they need is to not work so closely together. There is no guarantee that you're going to be able to smooth everything out, but keeping open communication and not pulling, and not putting down bullshit rules that are going to go against human nature is going to be your best bet, as far as I can tell. I could be wrong, but this has worked out for me in the past. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of The Unconnected Filmmaker, and if you found this information useful and want to be notified when the next video premieres, just hit that subscribe button. Or, if you have anything you'd like to see an episode on, feel free to comment below. See you next time, and keep those cameras rolling.